Deep inside a mountain in Yamaguchi Prefecture, Japan, lies an unusual monument to the nation's naval history. The battleship Yamato, despite its massive size and devastating firepower, the Yamato was ultimately defeated in battle, sinking to the bottom of the sea. Even in death, the mighty ship remains a symbol of Japan's military might and the country's complicated relationship with its past. In today's video, we will be showing you the battleship buried inside a mountain. Without further ado, let's begin. The Yamato was commissioned in 1941, just as Japan was entering World War II. At the time, it was the largest and most powerful battleship ever built, with a displacement of over 70,000 tons and a crew of more than 2,700. Its main guns were the largest ever installed on a battleship, with a range of up to 26 miles and the ability to fire shells weighing over a ton. The Yamato saw action in several major battles during the war, including the Battle of the Philippine Sea and the Battle of Leyte Gulf. However, it was ultimately sunk by American aircraft in April 1945 during the Battle of Okinawa. Nearly 3,000 crew members perished in the attack. In the years since the war, the Yamato has become a source of fascination for military historians and enthusiasts around the world. Its size, power, and technological sophistication were unmatched at the time of its construction, and its sinking marked the end of an era in naval warfare. The Yamato also represents a darker aspect of Japan's past. The ship was a product of the country's militaristic ambitions, which ultimately led it into a devastating war that claimed millions of lives. Many Japanese people today view the Yamato as a tragic symbol of the cost of unchecked militarism. Despite this complicated legacy, the Yamato remains a potent symbol of Japan's technological prowess and its military history. In the 1980s, the Japanese government decided to commemorate the ship by building a massive museum around its remains. The Yamato Museum, located in Kure, Yamaguchi Prefecture, opened in 2005. The museum is built into the side of a mountain, with the Yamato's massive gun turrets protruding from the rock face. Inside, visitors can explore a variety of exhibits around the ship's history and construction, as well as artifacts recovered from the wreck site. But the centerpiece of the museum is undoubtedly the Yamato itself. Visitors can walk through a tunnel carved into the mountain to reach the ship's massive hole, which is buried deep inside the rock. The experience is both awe-inspiring and eerie as visitors are confronted with the immense scale of the ship and the knowledge of the tragedy that ultimately befell it. The Yamato Museum is not without controversy, however. Some critics have accused the Japanese government of glorifying the country's militaristic past by building such a massive monument as a symbol of Japan's imperial ambitions. Others argue that the museum provides a valuable opportunity for reflection and education about the cost of war and the dangers of unchecked nationalism. Regardless of one's opinion on the museum's message, it is undeniable that the battleship Yamato remains an important and fascinating piece of Japan's history. Its legacy raises important questions about the role of technology and militarism in society and the importance of learning from the mistakes of the past. The Yamato's construction and eventual sinking also reflect larger trends in global politics and military strategy during the early 20th century. In the years leading up to World War II, many countries, including Japan, were investing heavily in their naval power as a means of projecting influence and securing access to resources. The Yamato was part of this larger trend toward naval expansion and represented a significant investment of resources and expertise. However, Yamato's ultimate defeat and sinking, as well as the larger defeat of the Axis powers in World War II, marked a turning point in global power dynamics. The U.S. emerged as a dominant military and economic superpower, while Japan underwent a period of rapid transformation and rebuilding. Today, the Yamato Museum is a popular tourist destination and a source of national pride for many Japanese people. However, it also continues to spark controversy and debate about the legacy of Japan's militaristic past 
and the role of the country's military in contemporary society. Some critics argue that the museum downplays the horrors of war and glosses over Japan's role in the conflict, while others believe that it provides a valuable opportunity for reflection and education about the importance of peace and reconciliation. In recent years, the museum has undergone renovations and updates, including the addition of new exhibits and interactive displays. The museum has also faced challenges in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, with a sharp decline in visitors and revenue. Despite these challenges, the battleship Yamato and the museum built around its remains remain a powerful symbol of Japan's military history and the complexities of the country's relationship with its past. The ship and its story serve as a reminder of the dangers of unchecked militarism and the importance of learning from the mistakes of the past in order to build a better future. One of the most fascinating aspects of the battleship Yamato and the museum built around it is its level of detail and engineering expertise involved in its construction. The ship was designed to be the most powerful battleship in the world with an unprecedented level of armor and firepower. To accomplish this, engineers and designers had to innovate and push the boundaries of existing technology. The ship's massive guns, for example, required new methods of casting and machining in order to create the massive barrels and firing mechanisms. Similarly, the ship's armor was designed to be thicker and stronger than anything that had come before it, requiring new methods of steel production and manufacturing. These innovations and techniques helped to make the Yamato one of the most impressive engineering feats of the 20th century and a testament to the power of human ingenuity and resourcefulness. The Yamato Museum also provides a unique glimpse into the challenges and dangers of naval warfare during World War II. Visitors can explore exhibits that detail the various battles and engagements in which the Yamato was involved, as well as various technologies and strategies used by both the Japanese and Allied forces. The museum also features artifacts and memorabilia from the crew, members who served on the Yamato, providing a personal and emotional connection to the ship's history and legacy. Overall, the battleship Yamato and the museum built around it are a complex and multifaceted symbol of Japan's military history and its relationship with its past, while the ship's construction and legacy represent a significant achievement in engineering and military strategy. They also raise important questions about the human cost of war and the need for ongoing dialogue and reflection in order to create a more peaceful and just world. As the world continues to grapple with issues of war, conflict, and global power dynamics, Yamato's legacy serves as a potent symbol of the human cost of militarism and the need for ongoing reflection and dialogue in order to create a more peaceful and just world. In the end, the battleship Yamato is a reminder of the complexity and nuance of history. It is both a symbol of Japan's military might and a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ambition. And whether viewed as a source of pride or a symbol of shame, it is an enduring testament to the power of human ingenuity and the need for vigilance against the forces of war and destruction. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.